Hey guys, Brian here. We have another special blog for you today. We're going to check out my top five favorite ethnic or world instrument libraries available in the Audio Plugin Deals shop. So let's get right to it. All right, guys. So today, just like the last blog I did in the top five format, um, the track I'm making focuses on something we can achieve, you know, fairly quickly. So again, I've spent about half an hour to 45 minutes um, just working up something using phrases, loops, but also using the playable instruments and everything um, and creating my own melody and not just relying on, you know, melodic loops, but the rhythmic percussion, some of it does come from some loop libraries. So we're going to take a listen and then we're going to look at the libraries and see uh, what they can do. So there you have it. I made that very quickly. I think even, you know, less than half an hour this time. So the different libraries I'm going to look at, um, one is the Ventus Ethnic Winds. Um, this is specifically the Shakuhachi. Then I have Koto Nation again from Impact Soundworks. This is the Koto, the Japanese plucked instrument. Then I have Ross Sound Ethnoscapes 2 and Sonoscore's Origins doing a sort of um, rhythmic uh, plucked melodic sound and Sample Logic Expeditions is the last one which is a powerful loop based library like all the Sample Logic stuff so let's take a look and see what I do with each of these we'll start with the Ventus uh, Shakuhachi this is a playable instrument so it does have phrases and and stuff like that you can kind of just use instantly and get that human performance but what I used it for here was actually as a playable instrument doing my own sort of melodic stuff So it is velocity sensitive, you harder, harder you press the key, the more of an accent you get. But also I really liked the different key switches down here, enable different articulations that give it a lot of life and variety like this. So you get bends, you get those trills, fast and slow trills, and get some really nice, um, you know, variety and kind of a human performance to it. And then there's also, you can enable these ornaments um, and everything. It gives it more of, you know, accents and attacks and stuff like that and more kind of variety.
you hear there I have the emotive at 100% so when you press the key hard it it changes and does the little ornaments and attacks and stuff you know variations on the note So you get stuff like that when you when you you know you can select at which velocity they will trigger so the grace notes and emotive notes and stuff like that and then the releases where you hear it kind of bends down and they have different re releases too or bend up or you know emotive or honk or there's a kind of like an overtone to it so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with um, this instrument and I just used it you know fairly simply doing using the the bends up and then the trills here and you hear there the the kind of bend down as the note releases so really cool stuff there we'll go on to koto nation which again is from impact soundworks obviously this is a plucked instrument and you know it's a really nice authentic sound to that as well So the Koto Nation, really nice. And you also get some different instruments in that. Let's take a look real quick. So Koto Nation, you get the bass Koto, the Koto, and then the Shamisen, and then some effects as well. So there's a lot more than just what I used in that. But I used it sort of as an authentic Koto instrument um, and added some you know, nice melody to that track. You know, stuff like that to get the nice bends when you play it. You know, when you press as hard as you can, you get the really nice bend there that adds some realism to it. So for the atmosphere and the kind of pad sound in the track, I used Ross Sound's Ethno Cinematic 2. Now, this one has an NKI file, but then once you go in and you click here, there's a lot of different instruments that we can choose from. Now I had the low pass filter down, the frequency down pretty low for that pad so it was kind of warm and ambient. But let's check out the different instruments we get inside of Ethno Cinematic. This one's called Plucked. We have a string. So as you can hear, I turned up the portamento there. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Kind of treat it as a synth almost um, with the filters and the uh, different, you know, the portamento and everything like that. So that was the um, ethnocinematic string. Let's go on to the vocals. So that was the ethno cinematic string. Let's go on to some of the other instruments here.
You can see I'm just playing with the LFO there and gives it more of a kind of undulating sound. Again, kind of treat it as a synth. So you can hear that we have a different ambiences. Some of them are melodic, some of them just kind of, you know, bizarre soundscapes. So you get a lot of variety here. Some of them are, you know, melodic playable instruments where you can play your own melody or do your own chords. And then some of them are these FX loops, um, which can be very bizarre and strange with the reverse effects. So, you know, while it is ethnic in nature and you do get kind of traditional instruments captured, um, it's very synthy in nature that it adds processing and kind of warps them and makes them almost unrecognizable in some of those instances. Um, then I use sound, uh, excuse me, Soniscore's Origins, which they have a few different ones here. I love this, um, these Origins libraries though, because they're very easy to use, and you can also just turn off the rhythm. For example. Now, the song that I wrote in nature is Japanese or Asian influence. This is a oud and kanun <laughs> instrument, which are not Asian. But anyway, um, I had to use it so we can use them all. And it adds a nice, you know, melodic, rhythmic element to it. But you can also go in and turn the arpeggiator off and just use it as a plucked instrument. And there's lots of different, you know, arpeggios and sequences that you can use, but it's very easy to use, especially when you hold down chords.
Sounds beautiful, nice reverb built in, which you can turn off if you want it more dry. Um, really love the Origins instruments. I use them in everything, even though they're technically, you know, these kind of world ethnic instruments, they fit really well if you need anything, even for a guitar sound or, you know, any plucked instrument sound, they work fantastically and they're pretty unique, the instrument choices they use. Uh, lastly, I have Sample Logic Expeditions, which I could do a, you know, a 20 minute hour, honestly, hour long video just on this library itself, because um, if, if you guys are familiar with the Sample Logic stuff, we've covered quite a few of them. It's going to be very powerful loop based engine like this. So there's going to be a loop that you hold down one key. But um, that's just the preset. You can also go in and change each individual instrument completely and allows you to play each of those individual layers just by pressing one key. So if you don't like one of the layers, you can go in, change it, change the effects on it, change the actual sound of the instrument being played. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. But what I use it for here is basically to add a rhythmic layer to this. Then I double the instance and use two different presets once it gets right here. So there you have it, really quick track, sounds great, um, and the different libraries you can use all from our shop um, and how to get you know, a really nice sounding track, how to use those different instruments, some of them are loops, some of them are playable, and how you can create your own kind of signature sound. You don't have to use built-in phrases, you can really customize everything and make it your own. So thanks so much uh, for hanging out and checking this one out with me. Uh, this has been my top five picks for the ethnic world libraries we have in our shop and how you can use them in context to make a track in a very short amount of time. So remember to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you know when we post more great content like this and when we have our giveaways. If you want to support us, please like the video, leave us a comment if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.